In this video we're going to take a look at the beat repeat again, although this time we're going to use the Launchpad User 2 preset instead of uh, assigning it through Auto Map MIDI. Now the reason for this is um, we can't access the uh, session mode and mixer modes if we use Auto Map MIDI. For example if you wanted to trigger clips this is the way you would um, assign effects. So as you can see, we can um, access the session view, the uh, mixer view, so we can affect the faders. So all the basic presets that are automatically mapped um, when you install Launchpad, they're all still there. So let's try out the um, beat repeat now. Right, let's take a look at how it, all this has been mapped together. What I've set up is a um, macro control. So basically, right click on beat repeat, select group, and then we can assign uh, the macro knobs to some of the functions. It makes it a little bit easier when we come to MIDI map. Let's take a look at the settings. So if we're going to MIDI map mode, Take a closer look. So those are the settings. I'm just going to delete these uh, mappings and show you how I map them. So click on grid and then we want to, rather than select the entire range, just that particular range. And then we're going to click on the uh, repeat macro control. Now this one we will select the full range. Okay. And then finally, we want, as the repeats get smaller and smaller, it can sometimes get a bit loud. So again, map the smaller range to the repeats volume, and then we're going to set it at zero. And then as it gets higher, the t volume turns down to about minus 5 dB. So now we'll uh, try it out. We can see all our values moving. <laughs> 